Hey guys, it's Eric from Eric's Arm Reviews. It's a new video we're doing today. Before I start, I just want to say my window's open right now, so there's extra noise or other audio things coming in. My bad. It's just really nice out today when I have the window open. But anyway, I'm here to talk about a contest that I recently won. Um, so basically, there's a record label called Equal Vision Records based out of New York. They signed a lot of great post hardcore bands. They've signed Chiodos, they signed Fall of Troy, other great bands like that. Basically, the contest recently where if you bought a trade win album like a physical format, whether it's vinyl, whether it's CD, you're entered to win a test pressing. So basically what I got is I got the album on CD, this cool pink jewel case. Um, pretty cool kind of layout. It's the same way they have on the back as far as track listing goes, the same kind of artwork and stuff. And then I also bought the vinyl copy. This is the album Black Splatter out of 250. It's a first pressing. Really absolute gorgeous layout. This is actually a gold foil as you can see. It's just absolutely stunning. It has this amazing sticker on the front. I'm actually so afraid to open this because it looks just so amazing. I just cleaned that off for a while. Um, but yeah, so basically I bought two copies of the album. So I had two entries to win. Um, and I recently got, or not recently, it was a few weeks ago. But then I got an email uh, from Equal Vision saying that I won. So I actually got the test pressing of the album itself. This is 6 out of 11. It says trade win. You make everything disappear, which is their first studio, first full length studio album. They had an EP, which I'm, as you can tell by now, I'm so bad with names. I'm blanking on the EP name right now. But basically, this is Jesse from Six Year Guns, and I think it's other guys from Straight from the Path. I'm not too familiar with Straight from the Path as I am with Six Year Guns, so I can't name off those guys right now. But basically, this is absolutely gorgeous post hardcore, almost not even post hardcore, almost kind of just like indie or alternative rock, um, and it's absolutely just fantastic. So, oh, I'll just spin this around my bed. So what it looks like. Very, very simple, as you know, from test pressings. I actually have a, a few test pressings. The only one I have out here, the rest are all at home. Um, but yeah, I was so insanely stoked to win this. I absolutely love this album. And it's, it's fantastic to get test pressing of any album period. As you know, they're extremely limited. Extremely hard to come by. Um, but when I actually bought those two copies, I bought some other cassette tapes as well. Um, just because I wanted to have you know, just something else thrown in there to save on shipping because Merch now has a ton of stuff I want to get. Um, so I ended up buying Within the Ruins. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I thought I said that wrong for some reason. Within the Ruins, Halfway Human, uh, which is their fourth or fifth full length on a blue tape. And again, I hold it kind of sideways like this. That way there's no glare so you guys can see it better. And yeah, um, so basically Within the Ruins is in Massachusetts, I guess... I'm not sure if I call them deathcore, metalcore, deathcore kind of combination like that. Um, I love Phenomena, Creatures is a great album as well. Um, I wasn't sure I'd like this or not, because I heard like a lot of mixed reviews and they're more diehard fans, but I actually really dig it a lot. I like the the mix now with like kind of more clean vocals and more melodic, you know, sounds that you might have heard on Phenomena. I think if you made an album that was, you know, half songs on Halfway Human and half songs of Phenomena put them together, I think it'd be their best release, period. Um, but it's still great, and I liked it more than I thought I was going to like it. Uh, but I also picked up Senses Fail, Pull of Thorns from Your Heart. This is on a purple tint colored cassette. Looks amazing. A lot of people do not like this album because it's nothing like the old Senses Fail. However, I think the lyrical meaning is, is phenomenal. It's a whole story about Buddy Nielsen and kind of how he's now accepted um, his sexual preference, stuff like that, and we're open with it now. And it's actually helping other people in the community, helping spread more awareness to LGBT um, members in the hardcore communities. It's actually fantastic what he's done so far since the album came out um also it's more just like a hardcore album period it's, it's really not like their more alternative rock stuff that came out in the early 2000s it's more more aggressive a lot more harsh vocals and it fits their live performance so well i absolutely love the album but but yeah so that, that's basically it um bought those two copies of trade win bought some cool tapes so fortunate enough to get the chest pre test press so thank you eagle vision records so much i'm so stoked to have this to add this to my test press collection so stoked to have the album, period. It's amazing to have it in a physical format now. We can't wait to spin it when I get home. And also, for you guys watching right now, the first video review ever going to do is going to be on the new North Lane album, Nesmar. Nes Nesmer. Nes I'm not even sure what that word means, but we'll find out in the review. <laughs> it's on a really cool, clear with red splatter kind of tape. But yeah, so, like I said, when I first launched the site, this will be mostly for just... You know, collection updates, unboxings, other stuff like that. Mostly just vinyl, cassette, CD kind of format things. But I will do reviews as well. And the first one I'll do in a video form will be the new Northland album. I've only 
heard a few seconds of the first single that came up before they randomly dropped it, so it's going to be completely, you know, going into it kind of blind almost. Hopefully it'll be good. I love all their previous albums, so I, I can't imagine. I haven't heard anything bad about it. I can't imagine anything too drastic of a change has happened, but we'll find out. I hope you guys check that out, and stay tuned till next time.